Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's uh, get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, we got a lot of messages coming here. Um, something happened in your house, in your home, where you dwell, where you live. I don't know if you had to kick somebody out or you were kicked out or you're trying to move somebody in and you're trying to do it quickly. Either one. Um, if there was the scenario of someone being kicked out, you guys have a family or there are children involved or it's pets or it's something that you guys have to nurture and um, someone is missing the pet or the children. Um, now they want to take part you know, in uh, being with the children or child rearing or, you know, they now they're using the child as uh, or the children um, as an opportunity to get to you, cancer, or vice versa. This is what you're doing. Um, this relationship came into your life to prompt you to spiritually grow, okay? You don't have spiritual growth when everything is going right. Everything is hunky dory peaches and cream no you typically grow when there's adversity when there's hurt when there's pain so you might have been in a relationship that could even been like there could have been i'm getting really emotional abuse okay emotional abuse it could have gone physical but definitely emotional abuse something that you have not really healed from you were dealing with somebody who had ulterior motive who was doing their own thing who was a liar deceptive you may have even caught them in your home with another woman or a man um something was going on sexually within the home to where it was you know it was contrary to what you guys contrary to the relationship contrary to uh, an exclusive relationship. There was somebody else involved and um, it wasn't consensual. Um, it looks like somebody picked up, was asked to move out there. Someone was asked to move out very quickly, like get out, get your stuff, leave now. Okay. Um, and then there's somebody trying to move somebody in. I don't know. That's another story, but definitely someone packing up and leaving or someone is deciding that they need to get out of this relationship and run from it because they also there's somebody else here somebody is going from one person to another person someone ha it has realized what another connection means to them or what this other person means to them um there are sentimental feelings left over residual feelings of after you move on, after there is a moving, there was like some really emotional experience that happened here to where now somebody is like, I really have to go away from this person or get away from this person or get away from this home. Um, something is happening here in this dynamic here to where um, someone could also found out that somebody was cheating. They were just an absolute liar. They were out here doing it with everybody, whomever, wherever. Um, somebody thought that their relationship was solid. It was stable, um, but it was not. Um, somebody started a relationship with somebody who was just very giving, very free, very loose. Um, now they want to run away from this to another connection that possibly could be very, um, it, it could turn into something that is a very, it's better. There's also someone here who's very materialistic. Okay. Um, uh, this person is just not good. Whomever you're running from or, or if they're running from you, cancer, I don't know. It's just like um, somebody is really understanding why this person came into their life, why this relationship came into their life, and they're trying to move away from this. But what keeps them there is the sentiment, the leftover, the residual feelings. They're not knowing how to get away from this. Um, somebody also, you know, they don't, they tell half truths. They omit things. Um they're just a liar they're very dark it could be that they have a darker hue to their skin color or they're just very dark uh very pessimistic there's no optimism with this person um and it also could be this relationship okay it's like the the universe was trying to get you to come out of this place this dark place have spiritual growth move on but what's holding you back are the sentimental feelings but you need to understand you're a human being and not a robot not a computer you will have feelings but you need to process them accurately and keep moving on moving forward okay because some relationship was just not 
uh, the best for you and it's not the best for you. Someone is a liar. They're not going to leave or they're going to always have you as the lover uh, for some of you. Uh, different scenarios here, okay? So this is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two. Should I allow this person back? Are they a liar? Are they truthful? You can ask those questions by texting those questions to the number below. You can catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. If you feel moved, if you feel like you took something from the reading you can buy me a coffee something happened in your home where now you're moving okay and it says take time take rest i don't know if there was like something traumatic or something it was abusive it was volatile something happened all right i'm just getting that real heavy all right so thank you guys many blessings to you